What is going on guys? It is Garfunkel and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you guys if you're having some issues with your Fortnite launcher actually launching the game. So what I've noticed and I'm going to open up my game here. Um, sometimes when you open this game and maybe it's after a restart of your computer and you get some software updates, maybe it's after an update of the actual game, you'll get this error and it's really annoying. So everything looks like it's going to be loading. It looks like you're going to be jumping into the game and then all of a sudden you get an error message. And I think a lot of people have experienced this and I wasn't really able to find many good tutorials on the interweb already that gave me the answers. All right, so the game is loading. You can see it's going through its normal thing. And then we get this easy anti-cheat error message that says game security violation detected, parentheses, hashtag, a bunch of zeros, D, and then it says HID.exe. So if this is the error that you're getting or something similar, uh, I have something that you can actually just try out and maybe it'll work. But what we're actually going to do is just go to our task manager and Fortnite, they're so smart, easy anti-cheat, you're so smart because you finally realize that RGB makes gamers way better, all right? It makes gamers way better, so we're going to have to disable our RGB. So this is a software that I'm able to kind of change some of my RGB for my RAM, Trident Z Lighting Controls HID HID. Uh, so what you're going to do is just end this task. And all you're ending is the software that's running in the background. So if you have a bunch of different softwares that you're able to kind of tweak your RGB for your PC, go ahead and end those tasks. The RGB should not change on your PC because it's already set. But once you end that task, you cancel out um, or you close out and then you go ahead and launch Fortnite again, it should actually load now. So that's really the quick fix. Uh, if it does then allow you to actually play, good on you. Uh, if you have any issues, let me know. I'm more than happy to help out and see if there's any other things that we can do. If it does help, leave a like. You could subscribe because we got some sweet gaming content and streams coming up for you guys. If, uh, if that's what you're into, you know, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. But as you can see, the game is now loading and it'll actually go through its loading process. And then you're going to be able to play season 11. It's here. Let's get playing. All right. Now you'll be able to play again. So. Hope this helped, guys, and I will uh, see you soon. Peace.